Welcome to the second part of the tutorial uh, implementing security in SOAP web services. In the last part, we have created a service in which we have implemented a security. Now we will deploy it on JBoss View server and test the security. So we will go to our POM file and copy the installation line in the installation command and we will trigger it. To install this bundle, you need to install a couple of features in JBoss Fuse. I will list down here. You have to install these three features. Means you have to trigger these commands before uh, before installing this bundle. So this basically uh, make those dependencies available in JBoss Fuse environment. So these features are already included in JBoss Fuse but those are not installed you have to install them ok so let's go ahead and test the service on J on SOAP UI I will go and show you I will trigger one request and see it give you a security error has was uncounted with, while verifying the message you can modify this message uh, when once you implement your SOAP fault and all those interceptors so now to let's let's we pass the security headers and I'll just write down the admin and I will just use the add username tag here and add it here. So now I'll just trigger one request. Now you can see the new customer got created means the request is running successfully. Similarly, we try for the delete operation. We will try without, we will try to delete the new customer which created 86. And we try to hit request, we get error. And same thing, we go to we go to the authentication tag. You can yourself add these values, but uh, SOAP you can give you auto generated. Once you add this tag, to save is your pass uh, username and password and you trigger this request successfully updated so let's say if you change it then get an error okay so if you remove it then also gives you error because because this is this is created with the timestamp so this message expired now so if you remove these two tag then it will work because there is a created timestamp so you this message will get expired after a few seconds this is the update in 6f uh, above 3.1 versions previously it was not there so let's say you add it now this created timestamp is there so it will work work no it's not working so if you remove this if you remove this it works so that's it from the security tutorial i will uh, keep all these contents on the drive and you can test it out and if you have faced any issue please let me know thank you